Hi guys, welcome to Gwinnett Technologies, right? So here, very small topic I just want to add because in the previous lecture, we understand about the nano log cluster. We understand about the static plane, right? We know about the, what is the static plane. So moving forward, right? We'll discuss more about later. Let's suppose you have to retrieve the logs from the, let's suppose you are working in the real scenario and uh, you having a requirement to retrieve the logs uh, from any source, right? To any destination uh, from the uh, GIA portal, right? If you're working at the GIA dashboard admin portals and you want to just retrieve the logs. So how basically in Web Insights, how basically you retrieve the logs and what is the behind scene happening? What action behind scene happening? So you might be noticed that whenever you retrieve the logs from the Web Insight, from the G-Scalar admin portal, that is a GIA portal, you might be logging it, right? So it basically takes time, two to three minutes, sometime four to five minutes, or might be one to two minutes. It depends how many, you know, what is the duration, log size, and totally depend, like size and duration and how long you want to logs. But you guys think about why it is taking that much time, right? This is again a question, why this is taking the times? Means you are just trying to retrieve the logs from, from web inside of the GIA admin portal, but it's taking time. But if you're working in the routers, which is solar wind, it's not take time. It's give the immediate within the fraction of second, the result they give, but why in the G scalar? So there is a logic behind it. There's a logic behind it. Why? Be because they never even the, you know, store logs locally, or they never, you know, provide the logs anyone without checking some parameters, right? So that's why the zero trust, even you are pulling the log, but your zero trust, you know, uh, exchange policy still are in place. It's not only the, even the communication, zero trust is applicable everywhere. Even the pulling the log, single transitions you are doing to the GS killer, they all are going with the zero trust, you know, exchange. So in zero trust exchange, let's say, suppose you are the admin and you want to retrieve, you are the admin portal, right? And you want to retrieve, you are the user and you just log into the admin portal, right? And you want to retrieve the logs. So what they're going to do, right? Though two connection they are going to build. One connection based on the, your company ID, your user ID, they first, basically they, they first retrieve your user ID, username, company ID and company name, right? And based on those, they will going to reach the G scalar central authority, which is the control plane, right? Brain nervous system. And the same thing, right? Same thing, same information, they will go with the nano logs, right? So once your company user ID and company policy, they all are going to be, you know, validated. They all are good. They all are good. Nano log cluster, they validated, chain validated. So they just exchange the information to each other, they sync to each other and they validate. After validating this, you are basically allowed to retrieve the log from the chain or the nano logs to just view that, right? So this is why they take the longer period of time while you retrieving the logs because they having a two set of the communication at the same times. And once both are agree, to each other, then they are going to get the logs information. So this is what actually I wanted to convey in terms of the reportings and data privacy. So it is not something you can you know, on blindly, you can get the data. Even you're pulling the data, you're getting the reports, even you have to go with the zero trust exchange. And the same time they will consult with the zero trust, uh, like uh, control plane, GIA control plane, that is central authority. And same time they will just consult with the nano log clusters with the same kind of information. And then they just all match the key and parameters. They allow you to grab the log. So this is a very important key concept in static explain. So sometimes might be you'll find like people are asking how things are working in the behind in the static explain and how the resources exchange work in the static explain. So you should know this. So thanks for watching. We'll connect in the new lecture.